close friends in the administration, and I did support the campaign. I no longer work for the, for the administration. But I do believe that there are efforts underway to support entrepreneurs in this part of the world, to develop infrastructure and health care in this part of the world. On a micro level, they are trying to do good things. There are still very bad things on a political level. Uh, of course, all of you are familiar with those, uh, with those things that go back decades now. And the Obama administration is continuing to do those things when it comes to the Palestinian issue. But I do believe that in terms of this improvisation, there's a few small scale uh, positive things that they're trying to do. I wouldn't That's expect a whole lot more from them. On, on Iran, um, you know, internal and external legitimacy exist in a very important uh, relationship. Many people in the United States today who are realizing just how uh, much credibility the U.S. has lost are saying to themselves, the first thing we need to do is to rebuild our own house. We need to rebuild our internal credibility, uh, the validity of the American economic model, and the, uh, the view that the politics is not just some kind of circle spinning around, but actually can be progressive. So. Uh, the reason this is an important uh, point is because Iran's internal model is in a crisis itself. It's too easy to say, oh look, they're trying to exert hegemony around the region. Their internal system is also incredibly frail. And China is the same situation as well. Everyone is saying China's leadership, China's potential hegemony, only when the domestic model is actually stable and works. So you have to remember that Iran is not a monolithic entity. All of you have either been there or seen uh, what happened last year in the elections. How could anyone believe that this is a monolithic hegemon? In every one of the newspapers that you read today, you can read the in almost internal accounts of the kind of tension that, is, that the regime faces, faces and how unstable Ahmadinejad's own rule is. Do not look at it as a monolithic entity. It is vulnerable. It is very vulnerable internally and therefore it is very vulnerable externally as well. So therefore not only should you not view it as a hegemonic threat but you should also view it um, you should also uh, uh, not be able, therefore, to use it as an excuse, which is something I said yesterday, as an excuse to delay your own internal uh, development and progress. But I kind of thank you for sharing some time with us again and uh, for taking uh, the comments and the questions in a perfectly good manner. I hope that this uh, experience managed to clarify some of the aspects of your uh, presentation yesterday. Thanks a lot and thank you, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, attending this panel. Thanks a lot.